What? Christmas lights? Can you see that all the way from there? I got the camera back about 20 feet. And you can read this sign. You know what we do. And you know how to contact us. Signs. So today, I'm going to talk to you all about signs. Can you grow a business using signs? Absolutely. I talked to a guy that does gutter cleaning last night, and he does a boatload of money. Probably, I'm thinking like the $250,000 to $500,000 range just in gutter cleaning alone. And his main thing is signs. So do signs work? Absolutely, they work. They work amazing. We've already put out 150 signs this year for Christmas lights, and it's just the 1st of October. It's October 7th if you're looking watching this video. Actually, it's October 5th if you're watching this video. So with all that being said, signs work. Signs work great. But how do signs work? You have to be on it on putting them out, and you can't just put one or two out and think that's good. So where are some good places to put signs? Well, there's all kinds of places to put signs. I like to put signs on busy streets, like we have a four lane road going across um, here, and there's a lot of subdivisions coming into it, and we put them at the, every, every subdivision, every stoplight, anywhere that you can see a sign, we put these signs up. Signs make a lot of money. Do you got to spend a ten dollars a sign on it per sign? No, you do not. If you click the link below, I actually have a place that you will you will get a hundred signs. Looks just like this or something like that, and it will cost you around three hundred to three twenty-five, and that'll get you a hundred signs. So that's three dollars and twenty-five cents per sign. If somebody picks this sign up and throws it in the dumpster, I don't care because one person. Um, buys a set of Christmas lights off of it. It paid for all of those signs. So with all that, signs work great. So what do we want on a sign? What do we want on a sign and how do we want it? We want big letters of whatever you do, whatever service this is, whether you're doing pressure washing, gutter cleaning, whatever. And we only want one service on it, gutter cleaning. We hang Christmas lights. Christmas light installers. It's something simple, something that we can show that people know what you do and know it fast. Then we want a large phone number. Like I say, this camera is back about 20 feet. So I did that on purpose. The reason why I did that on purpose is, is because I wanted to show you that if you're 20 feet away, that you can read this sign. If we have all this wording and it's small, we cannot read that sign 20 feet away. So that's why we want one service, one thing on a sign, big letters, as big as we can get, with a large phone number. The only other thing I might, we actually have another set that has a little bitty website address across the bottom of it. And the way I know people are looking at these signs is, is because on our AdWords, we'll have people look up we hang Christmas lights. We hang Christmas lights. So people are looking this up on AdWords and that. So I could, I could have done on some of my signs, I did just a little thing of ChristmasLightsCincinnati.com. Nothing big, no www, just ChristmasLightsCincinnati.com. Again, this sign here, too busy, too many words. You can't read it from all the way back there when you're one car, two cars back at the stop sign. This sign here, you know what we're doing. And in fact, when you do this past this every day or so, you'll really know what it says every day. So we put them on busy intersections. We put them on, you know, all kinds of different stuff. I actually did a video up here. I'll, I'll post a link to this video up here about how I made a tool. We can put them on poles. If some places you're not allowed to do that. I understand that. Some places you're not allowed to put signs up. If you're not allowed to put signs up, that's a whole different ball game. We actually got a city in the Northern Kentucky area that called and said, don't you leave another sign or we're gonna fine you. Because guess what? We won't put them in the city of Covington no more. We'll put them everywhere else all around that city, but we won't put it in the city limits of Covington. So we wanna make sure 
that you know we don't get in trouble for if we can put signs up put signs up put 25 my goal my goal to you would be is to put 25 signs up a week and here's the thing if you put them up one week and they get taken down the next put them back up there put it back up there be consistent of and and what i always tried to do is is i had three or four areas so this week i'd put them in this area the next week, I'd put them in this area. The next week, I'd put them in this area. The next, the fourth week, I'd start all back over, and I would work those three areas. One, two, three, and I'd put up. And the best time to put signs out is Friday. Friday is the best time to put signs out because if you put them out on Friday, most of the time, they're not going to get pulled till Monday or Tuesday. So if we put them out on Friday, they stay out all weekend. What do people do on the weekend? They mow their grass. They think about the honeydew list, all that kind of stuff. You know, put them by the Home Depots, the, the Menards, all those places of people thinking about what they're doing. And that way we can get our phone ringing with signs. Now, if you really want to be there, put out 50 a week. Be um, and you will really get your phone a ringing. If you only put them out and you can't see them and it's very small stuff, that's an issue. Now, I got something that I will do for you. If you would like me to design your sign, I'll put a link down in below here. It'll be christmaslightshelp.com slash um, signs with an S, I'm assuming, or christmaslightshelp.com slash signs. And in there, I will have an area where you can fill out the information and I will design you a sign. Um, and then you can go to the link that I'll send you and you can order those signs for $300. I will make a cup of coffee on that through affiliate um, uh, affiliate link, but go there, fill it out. All you'll have to do is just drop the picture I give you in there and you'll be good to go. There'll be a little form you'll have to fill out with your name, email, so I can email it back to you. And then what, what service you do and what's your phone number, and then maybe what's your email. And then I'll send you both your, your website and one without your website. And then you can buy those signs, and we will get you up and get you business. Um, Christmas lights is a great thing. You know, and people ask, is it too, when is it too late to start Christmas lights? You know, I had a guy last year start Christmas lights. Um, he's in the Louisville area. He started it. Um, he didn't come to my training till like, November 10th. And you end up doing $35,000 in that short amount of time. So there is, you can get money during signs. And the way he got business mostly was right here. Signs and as um, past customers. But signs was his number one thing to get business. He didn't pay no AdWords or nothing. He did it all through signs. So make sure you get this stuff filled out. Like I say, I'll put a link down in the, sh in the bottom here where you can fill out a thing for my things for me to help you to get your signs up and to design a sign. And then that way you can go. Um, I may put a thing in there, you know, what colors you kind of like, or I might look at your website and see what colors you're using. Um, but for Christmas lights, I like the red. The red sticks out. The red, you can see a mile away that there's something there and it actually looks really good. So go down below, fill it out, let me know. And I will hope to help you out and help you Grow your business and be successful and to change your life.